sat here and tried to work with the eyes. No longer have the eyes. But I'm now hungry again for something. Not something big, just something to, you know, just kind of hold me over for a little bit. Because my goodness, a, gir a, a girl, a woman, a little lady, she, she who is me, she's struggling. I don't like how I just had a brain fart while I was doing that. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to a day in the life. Today I have quite a few things on the agenda and I'm hoping that I can just breeze on by them so that I can be done by the time that my husband gets home. It is currently 4.42. He is out doing some yard work. He'll probably be home close to eight, maybe a little bit after, because I know in True Mr. Carter fashion, he will more than likely end up getting some coffee before he comes home. So I'm in the process right now of finishing up a video and trying to upload it today. But we had, you know, some uh, difficulties in the first half, of course, but that is fine because all is well now. And we will get this done. I'm currently in the process of making the thumbnail for my cleaning video that is going up today. Of course, it's not going to be the same day that this video comes out because this is a day in the life and this is a completely separate video that I'm uploading right now. So that doesn't make sense, right? Right. I don't have a set schedule when it comes to how I do my YouTubing or my vlogging or anything social media wise, just because I go with the flow of my life. And if my life is too chaotic, I'm not about to succumb to the chaos that comes with trying to, you know, put yourself out there in the world and it just not be good. I mean, of course, I have that first video up that I don't think was the best just because the quality of it was so... I don't even know what happened to that video. It just got so overexposed and oversaturated. But my husband has helped me out with that, so I shouldn't have that issue anymore. But I was so over it with that video, with everything that was going on around that time. I mean, the cleaning video that I'm uploading right now is the video I was trying to upload maybe like a week after I did that very first video. And life just got so chaotic that I wasn't able to upload that video. And I haven't been able to upload quite a few videos. I have quite a few videos kind of just in my back pocket. It's just a matter of whenever I have time to sit down and edit and I'm not tired or, you know, mostly when I have time because me being tired, <coughs> excuse me, me being tired doesn't really excuse not getting a video out, if that makes sense. Because sitting here, literally it's just sitting here all day well, not all day, but like it's just sitting here for however long that I decide that I want to look at my computer and put the video together. So it literally takes like no time, no work, no actual like hard, hard labor considering how I do things. Now I'm sure other people that go above and beyond and have all these amazing transitions and things of that nature and the edits that's just not me. I just, I really prefer a very like realistic look to things. And I like to keep it as candid as possible just because I, I really appreciate candid moments. And that is, you know, the whole purpose of me even doing what I do because unfortunately, a lot of people feel like they cannot do the YouTubing or the blogging unless they have a certain look or a certain equipment. And trust me, I am nobody. <laughs> I am not saying that I know the ins and outs of everything, nor do I have the keys or, you know, all the answers. I just like doing certain things. And my husband and my brothers are like, well, why don't you vlog? Why aren't you recording this? And I would just be like, I don't know. I'm in the moment and they'd be like, girl, you don't get up, <laughs> you don't get on that camera and put out some content. You can make some really cute content out of it and you can really have fun doing what you like to do. So that's what I do. I have fun doing what I like to do. Now, I'm not saying that it's for everybody. I know that it's not for everybody. I've seen where it's not for everybody because if you're not consistent enough, then that's where 
problems arise because a lot of people think you can just make a few videos and that be the end of it. It's like, oh, why don't I have 10, 15, 100 subscribers yet? A thousand subscribers yet? I, I made four videos, like what's going on? Well, you need more videos. <laughs> you need more content. You need to build a following. It takes time, it takes effort. It takes some kind of effort. So, you know, it's just one of those things you gotta build the plane while you fly it. And it's not for everybody. Everybody thinks they can just jump into social media and make a bunch of money. If it isn't obvious, I don't make any money doing this. I just do it, like I said, because it is fun for me. However, I know a lot of people that do it for money and I know people that are monetized that don't take this seriously and they can make so much more money. However, they just don't take making content seriously. And, and you know, unfortunately, it just is what it is. But enough about that. I need to finish this thumbnail, get it on here, and get this video uploaded because after this, I have a little bit of laundry that I have to do and put away. And I would really, 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 really love to make some blueberry muffins. I just don't know if that makes sense because, I mean, I should have time. But considering I'm hungry and that laundry, the laundry that I have left to do, I started on it yesterday. So I shouldn't have too much more to do. I saw it when I came, <laughs> when I came through and, you know, assessed the situation before I started on this video. So I should be able to get it done pretty quickly and get to my snack. But the issue with me, at least for being pregnant and snacking, is that I always end up catching a case of the eyes. And it just makes me sit there and do nothing for I don't know how long. And it's not annoying. I know my body needs to rest because I'm growing a human. However, sometimes I just really want to get something done and I can feel it usually in my eyes that I am so tired and it makes me so sluggish. But another thing that I'm pretty sure will help me is making some coffee. I've been making coffee at home for the past I don't even know how long it's been, what, a week or two, two weeks? It's been about two weeks that I've been making coffee at home. And I love it, I absolutely love it. I actually have another video that should be coming out before this video that will explain exactly why my coffee experience is completely elevated from what it was before. It may not be a big deal or much of anything to other people, but for me it is because I truly enjoy making my own stuff and doing stuff at home and just really you know just you know <laughs> i don't have a word for it it's just it's just so wholesome and pure i made those collages yesterday and my husband absolutely just he was like oh my gosh girl you are too valuable like i cannot let you go back to work and i was like okay shoot you right i mean you know hey i mean maybe you're not right but you know you say that so i can assume that you're right because most of the time you're right the day before that, I made some bread, some more bread, and it, oh my gosh, I don't know what it is about this time. Maybe it's just because I have more experience and I know what I wanted more of and less of. Like, I just knew how to tweak it a little more. Oh, this loaf is so much better than the last loaf that I made. Oh my goodness, it is so, so good, so good. I ended up making toast for breakfast and then last night i wanted to eat something quick and i ended up making a grilled cheese sandwich with it oh my gosh y'all so good so so good like i know some people claim that you know homemade stuff making stuff from scratch it takes too much time and all this stuff i kid you not the actual working time of making these bread and these collages, it really wasn't that much time. Like it may look or feel like it on video or like to hear if somebody was to explain the process, but it really didn't take that much time. The most time that both of these things took was for them to rise. But it's very important that you let your dough rise. However, I promise you, it really doesn't take that much time because in the hour or so that you let your dough rise, you can do whatever else you need to do that day. You know, like that's why I started my laundry yesterday because I was letting my dough rise. 
uh, when I wasn't doing anything with it. So enough about me going on tangents about all these great things that I have going on in my housewife life. <laughs> I'm going to finish this thumbnail and get this video out so that I can get to this laundry and hopefully get to these muffins because I can't even remember the last time I had blueberry muffins and my husband seemed like he was very excited about it as well. So that is the move and I can't afford any distractions. Mm -hmm. get rid of this is it right here i call this struggle clothing i've had this since my husband and i started dating and for whatever reason i can't get rid of it i know it's taking up space 
and I know I don't wear it that much. I really don't wear this very much at all. However, the fair was just in town and it randomly got cold. And this came in handy. So it's like, do I keep you for the what ifs and the possibilities? Or do I just get rid of you so I can make room for something new? I know the answer to this question. But I'm probably still gonna keep it. in here as well as some peach cobbler minis and leftovers for dinner normally I don't put the muffins in the fridge I just leave them out but our cat has been a little curious lately so I kind of conflicted on that I just feel like it'd be nice to give him the option of either fresh kolache or fresh muffin so like I mean, the kolaji technically isn't as fresh because I made them yesterday, but you know, I want to give him the option. And considering I'll be making it tonight, I know I don't want one tonight. Like, I did before I started moving around and doing stuff, but now I don't want one. So it feels pointless to make, unless, you know, he ends up coming home and wanting one. But I highly doubt it because that is something that we more so lean toward whenever it's like earlier in the day. And this is about to contradict everything that I'm saying right now, but I would like to start my next blog post. It's nothing too crazy, it's just a recipe that I did and it turned out really well. So I want to type that up and get it ready for tomorrow. And I, like I said, need a snack. I have not had my snack yet, I did my laundry. I even did a little bit of organizing, which was way more than I intended to. I had this fridge open. Mm. Everything that I was saying, or you know, exactly what I was just saying, because you know, pregnancy brain. I want some coffee so I can have just a little bit of a boost for when he gets home and to get this post out of the way. Because for whatever reason, I'm just starting to feel myself just drag a little bit, and I don't know, I probably would have, <coughs> excuse me. Oh my goodness. More energy if I hadn't been doing stuff back to back the last couple of days, as well as uh, today, per se, because don't get me wrong, editing, like, it's to me not really that much work. It's just sitting and clicking around, you know, typing a couple of things or whatever here and there every now and then. But um, what was I doing before that? I came in here and I did some dishes before I even did that. And then after doing that, well, I should definitely add in there. I ate a fat kolache while I was doing that. Caught the itis, itis sort of went away. Then I went straight to doing laundry. Now here I am needing a little bit of a pick me up. So I'm about to make myself some coffee with this creamer that I made the other day. So good. I don't know if you can see that, but there's not much left in here because I have been going to town like it is a sea salt caramel creamer so good my husband even thinks it's good too and one thing about that where's this ice that i find so funny is the fact that i was making it and the recipe called for like nearly two cups of sugar i think that i was following i looked at a few and most of them called for quite a bit of sugar as well as sweetened condensed milk and that felt like too much going on on top of the fact that I'm lactose intolerant already as is. So I didn't want to, you know, cause any problems for either of us. It's enough that we both drink coffee. He already has a coffee addiction. So I am, <laughs> he is kind of unaware of the fact that I am slowly weaning him back on coffee at home because 
This man will go to Starbucks like two, three times a day with no shame either. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee real quick and get my laptop, come sit on the couch. An animal licking himself is just such a loud, disturbing noise. And this is gonna sound even stranger. I have these Doritos right here that I got my husband to get me because I was craving chips the other day. Well, I have been craving chips the past couple of days, but it's like every time I want to eat them, I see something else and I end up not wanting it. Is my ice cream sandwich still in here? Okay. Strange, I know. But with this coffee, I am really wanting this ice cream sandwich. But however, I have really, 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 really want to eat these chips with this salsa that I got from the farmer's market. Pineapple mango mild salsa. That sounds delicious and I have not had the chance to eat it yet. Neither have my taste buds been really feeling it. Like when I saw it and I got it, it sounded amazing. But once we got home, first of all, we didn't even have any chips. <laughs> and I usually do eat salsa with my eggs, but I didn't want to put pineapple and mango salsa on eggs not knowing how it tastes like even on a chip. If that makes sense. But I wanted to know at least what it tastes like a little bit before I throw it on some eggs. Because eggs are, you know, they don't need to be crazy dressed up or anything like that. I just have been really craving salsa this whole pregnancy. Like the first couple of, ooh, the first several months, it was breakfast tacos and salsa. And like eggs and salsa or chips and salsa like i wanted salsa with everything and then in the second trimester i didn't care i just wanted to eat everything now here i am what a weekend a week in my 28 weeks i'd have to look at my tracker honestly i look at it like once because i know on the weekends whenever i start a new week however i i can't remember right now so like just give me a break now i'm back to wanting salsa and like craving particular things again so, oh, but it kind of sounds weird to have that with coffee, right? Coffee and chips and salsa? That sounds strange. It sounds like Tex-Mex brunch, kind of. I don't know, it just sounds weird, especially because it's pineapple mango. Maybe I'm reading into it too deeply. I'm just gonna make my coffee. <laughs> you me personally I feel like it doesn't need any sugar because the creamer is enough like I legit don't add any sugar to this I don't know if my husband did when he made coffee with it he likes his a little more sweet I can't remember it doesn't matter though the point of the matter is that it, making your own creamer I can even get it out properly make your own creamer at least once just do it once just do it once. What's the worst that could happen if you try it once? Having a cat, man, they do some weird stuff. Okay, so I went ahead and drank my coffee first so that it wouldn't be, it just didn't sound like a good flavor combination. <laughs> this 
is the salsa. Look how flavorful and beautiful this thing is. Look how fresh everything looks in there too. I don't know about y'all, but like, let me see if I have that salsa in here still. This salsa here, oh yeah, it looks good. You know, this is the typical salsa I get when I go to the grocery store. You can't really, you can kind of see what's in here. I mean, you can, but like not the way you can see what's in here. Look at how it separates. And look at everything inside of it. That is absolutely crazy. The difference there. Like, obviously this one's more chunky than this one is. But it's still just the fact that you can just tell. Once you start getting and making and buying fresh ingredients and food and stuff like that, you can tell the difference. At least if it's like right there in your face. At least it feels like it is to me. I don't know, I feel like I'm maybe saying this wrong, but like, I feel like there's a huge difference. I'm gonna try to open this now because I got some jelly from the farmer's market the same day that we got this. And I tried to open it for my toast yesterday. <laughs> I spent like five, somewhere between five and eight minutes just struggling with the lid so hopefully this doesn't embarrass me right now because i'm not trying to be embarrassed this one took literally nothing why was that other one so hard that smells so good that smells ridiculously good that smells so good people at the farmer's market are so nice too the people well the people first of all the people there I don't know if they're all just trying to get a sell up or, or they're genuinely just happy. But in the couple or few times that my husband and I have gone, we love going and we can't wait to go back this weekend. These people are so nice. <laughs> and literally everyone that saw us was complimenting us or just happy to see us and actually have a conversation with us. And they were happy about our baby and everything. and the lady that we got this salsa from actually said our baby is going to be so beautiful and that almost made me cry <laughs> fresh tomatoes fresh mangoes fresh pineapple fresh onions fresh anaheim peppers fresh jalapeno peppers fresh habanero peppers fresh cilantro fresh garlic white vinegar and natural salt okay miss sherry's garden sherry's tropical garden sticker is a little blurry but I can see the ingredients and that's all that matters to me. It looks so good too. Ah, uh, I wanna like, oh my gosh, I just wanna like, I wish, did y'all ever see like this, this feature that phones were claiming to start getting where you could smell something through a phone? I don't know how true that is or if it ever happened, but. Ain't no way, there's like, why is this bag so empty? Majority of this bag is air. That's upsetting. I'm gonna have to ask him to get me some more chips before he comes home. Because he typically asks, but I'm still gonna ask him to anyway, regardless. Cheers. can't even formulate actual words. Miss Sherry. Cherry. Gosh, I remember I wish I could remember how to pronounce her name. Cause you know, ain't no telling. She will be seeing me if I eat this jar. <laughs> Who is slamming doors outside? My goodness. I thought the chunks of pineapple and mango in here would be weird, but surprisingly, it's not. Alright. To work I go.
out and I just ran upstairs and grabbed my recipe book because now after all of the work I've been doing all day so far, I finally have the chance and the energy and the time to make these blueberry muffins. Originally when I was making these, I had a chocolate chip chunk, whatever recipe, uh, oh, muffin recipe that I was using. Oh man, why am I so out of breath? <laughs> I had a chocolate chip muffin recipe that I was using before and I was just kind of changing out the ingredients for it. Like the, uh, I guess the mix-ins, you could say. And I didn't really see that much of a difference. However, today, I, do I have these tapes today? If I'm lucky, we can go to Happy Lobby. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I did. But I now have my husband addicted to Hobby Lobby. He loves that store probably just as much as I do. Do I have enough? Well, I should. I should. I'm just going to get everything that I need out. And I know just by me being out of breath like this, it probably is coming off a bit chaotic. But that's okay. Because everything is all good. It really is. I just decided to run up and down the stairs like a genius and it takes me a minute to recover i didn't mention that we have to go to the store i really 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 want to get some more heavy cream because i really want to make some more creamer now <laughs> i made that cup yesterday and i have this much left i i'm pretty sure this is enough for me to make another cup but i'm trying to wait until kind of close to the time that he is going to be coming home so i can have it while we're out so i can have the energy kind of just kicking in as we're out i don't want to drink it right now because i want to have some later but i really want some right now but i don't have enough creamer to compensate for the desire we've also here i go keeping the fridge open longer than i need to again first of all look how pretty these are i think there's a feather that is definitely a feather <laughs> but these are farm fresh eggs i don't care what anybody says there's a difference well I probably, you know, wouldn't notice at first glance, but the more you start to use fresher ingredients and stuff like that, you start to know, you just know. We can keep this right here because like a genius some days ago, I left an egg somewhere close to the edge of the counter and it rolled right off. Do I have everything I need? No, baking powder, vegetable oil, baking soda, and just grab the salt, a hint of vanilla extract, and the blueberries, of course. Duh! I thought this meat out trying to <laughs> be diligent <laughs> because one of the things I always forget to do when I do remember to freeze extra meat is I forget to thaw it whenever I need it for that day. So then we end up stuck and we either have to buy that meat again or we have to wait. But then we still have to buy something to eat because we don't have anything to eat whenever Brooke forgets to thaw the meat. So last night, my husband called me when he was coming home. Well, on the way home, I guess. Somewhere between there, because he got coffee somewhere between there too, like I knew he would. <laughs> but he called me and asked me if I wanted carabas. So we had carabas last night. I just finished eating the soup. So good. Lentil sausage soup. So good. But I have so much pasta left over and I just, oh, uh, that's the only thing about getting so much of that stuff. There's just so much left over. At least for me, I will eat enough pasta for like two days. No shame because that's a lot. All those carbs, it makes me feel so full for so long. It's so crazy. And you would think I'm pregnant. I would want to eat more, right? It really just depends on the day. Baby Carter is not like super huge foodie like that. Like I have my moments, we have our moments, but it's never that deep. Okay, I have everything except for the blueberries out because they're in the freezer and I would like for them to be cold because from what I understand, and have experience is that the flour sticks to the blueberries better once well well 
the flower sticks to frozen blueberries better or freshly rinsed blueberries obviously they are rinsed because i did not just throw them in there like a barbarian without rinsing them off but you know just want to throw that out there because i like sharing what i learn and these are like anything that i share I'm not sharing it under the guys that I just know so much and that I think I know more than other people. I share it because I would have really liked it if other people had shared what I share, basically. And I'm not saying I hold all the keys or have all the answers because I definitely do not. <laughs> but I've come a very, very, very long way from where my husband and I started. So... I think I have the right to share something, you know. But let me start on these muffins because the, the idea of biting into one right now sounds so good. Miss Ma'am want to get into that other bread we got from Corral. <gasps> really? Yeah. She got into it or like she got close to it? She got into it. Wow. It was on the floor? Yeah, it was on the floor. Was See, this is what I was saying about our cat. This gift. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's all currently. That's all currently? Yeah. I just came up all uh, kissing on you and stuff. Let me do it again. <laughs> Love some you, girl. Mm. I assume you want your other sweet potato pie too. Yes. I was gonna do it tonight. Ooh! Yes! <laughs> you know, just it just crossed my mind. I was like, damn. I ate the last bit of this one. No, so, you, you for, it's like you forget every single time. Whenever I make one, there's thing. another one. That's a great thing that I forget. Cause that's that's a great thing. Thing. <laughs> then it cheers me up. I'm like, oh yeah. Shoot, up in this thing. Whipping it to my mouth. <laughs> the way you go back and eat like two, three slices is crazy to me. Only two. Only two? Well, I only go back and eat one. I still, wait, let's try this ice cream. Did you want to try one? Oh, I forgot. Ice you started ice. kissing me and I forgot. Do it again so you forget? No, it's right here. I'm not going to forget. Ooh, Ooh, that's creamy. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't eat it. I got it for you, mom. That's pretty equivalent to Marvel's Lab if you ask me. Take it creamier tomorrow. I don't think it's creamier, but it's pretty close. After I do these, you want to go to the store? Or you don't want to do that anymore? Um, I don't know. Looking real rainy. I kind of got hampered to just be on the field. I figured that. I'm really about to eat this whole thing right now. You want another bite? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'll come over there. Yeah. <laughs> See, you ain't never say hi to me. The most annoying thing about that is that she pulls the bread on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moment 
the truth, but see if this buttermilk actually makes a difference in these muffins. I hope this is enough. It looks like it'll be enough. I still can't get over how there's like a completely different consistency from fresh buttermilk versus the one you get in the store. As fresh as it is also though, which is why there's so much urgency to get it done today. <laughs> I think I only had like a couple more days left of freshness of this. It's not all thick either. It's like, you know, like milk. I still have a little bit left but I'm not gonna go too crazy because I did use most of it. I used it in sweet potato pie and I'm using it in these muffins, so, you know, that's the majority of it. I can't remember how full it was, but it smells promising. So I'm gonna think it's gonna turn out promising. Something in my eye. I've been in the if I want to have nail polish on my nails and it's not that I have to either it's just I really like doing my own nails I was getting my nails done at you know like a salon but there's just so much more satisfaction in doing something yourself like it feels good to go get that massage or those treatments and I'm not against them it's just I really like to do my own I also need to get more colors. Last time we went to the store, I saw a few that I wanted, but I didn't spend too much time looking because my husband was ready to go and I didn't want to hold him either. Something like that is what I would typically do when I go by myself, but honestly, I haven't really gone anywhere by myself that much since we've gotten pregnant. And it was my own choice. It's been my own choice. I just haven't made the effort to go do anything by myself very much. I have, but like it's so rare. <laughs> Plus my husband just likes to be with me and 
that last time that we did go to the store, I didn't really want to be there that long either. I just needed something on that aisle and I turned around all the pretty colors were right there so I just took a slight gander nothing too crazy but then I saw this beautiful blue and I was talking about it last night and my husband was like we have to get you that blue and I was like this is why I married you but my husband thinks he's slick he <laughs> told me that he liked the color that was on my fingers and he asked me why it was on my toes and I said, because I ran out of the white that I had, which is white for my toes right now. And he was like, that would be really cute on your toes. I know it would be, but the white wasn't like looking crazy yet. So I wasn't about to take it off. But now it's looking just as crazy as my fingers. So I'm about to use this color on my hands and my feet because I like this color too. But you know what, ladies? I'm just gonna say this. If your husband says he likes the way something looks on you, I highly encourage you to do more of it. The compliments will keep on coming. <laughs> Does it look promising? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it looks softer than the other one. Yeah, muffin from my muffin. Wait, eh. Oh, yeah, I couldn't hear the edge. I, I heard. <laughs> yeah, I was trying. I'm good. You think so? You know so. This one, like I said, it looks a little softer than the last one I did. Outside crunching, inside. That's a lot softer Soft. than the last one that I did though. Mm -hmm. I dropped the crown, look. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, playing with you. You want another bite before yeah. I? Cause, do you want this whole thing? Uh, sure, but I'm gonna need a nap. Okay, I'll get you one. I'm gonna just crumble all on me. It's very good. Steve, what did you tell me? Thank you. Would you say this one's better than the other one? No. Yeah, I think so too. Definitely better than the first batch. Yeah, that first batch first was scary. Batch was under two. First batch was uh, just there? You sure? Yeah, because I'm about to say no. Oh, okay. There you go. But. It's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're fine, but the baby, you stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> and. Thank you, baby. I know. I was thinking about that. I was like, do I want a kolache in the morning or do I want a muffin? Because honestly, this morning it was hot. Well, earlier today, because I, I woke up at like noon. But it was hard for me to choose what to eat. And I was like, let me just eat the soup from Carabo so it doesn't go to waste. It smells so good and it's so soft. This one is way better than the last one. I guarantee you. Let me see if I can see it right now. Because I guarantee you the one that I... Huh? Yeah. I'm genuinely curious. I'm pretty sure that the recipe that I used previously 
didn't call for vegetable oil and I feel like that made a huge difference. Yeah. In it. Like I think it was just yeah. Cause everything in it is the same. Except for the fact that there's vegetable oil. Huh. Yes. Yes. That is crazy. Just some vegetable oil? Hmm. What did you say it was? Oh, do you need water in it? You got my cup over here. Your cup's over there? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about this vegetable oil. <laughs> it makes it soft. That's so crazy. Cause like the last time we did them. <coughs> warm? Do need more mini. Here's another one. <laughs> well, I'm about to enjoy a muffin while I watch my sweet husband play the game and just catch up on whatever he did today. I hope you had fun watching me play around in the kitchen and not burning the house down. But, ooh, it's pretty highly fixed up. It is still very disproportionate. But I enjoyed playing around and doing the things today. I cannot wait to see what it is that we're going to get into next. Bye!